up being called The Longest Day, and that book is about uh, the day of D-Day, uh, June 6, 1944, the invasion of Normandy uh, from England by the Allies. This book, uh, well, else uh, just decided he was going to continue to, or he was going to then concentrate full time on, on working on the book The Longest Day. That book came out in 1959 and was a huge success. Uh, up to now, that book has been published in over 30 languages and in over 30 million copies. And turned to, uh, and then ended up publishing uh, his second book on battles of World War II uh, called The Last Battle, and it deals then with the, uh, the collapse of the Nazi regime at the end of, uh, well, in early 1945 and specifically the capture of Berlin by the Soviet force level. Then Ryan went back and worked on this other book, which ended up being the third book, and, and as it turned out, his last. He never was able to get the, the five books in, but uh, the last book then was called A Bridge Too Far, and this dealt with a, a mainly British operation in September of 1944 uh, in Europe where, to uh, liberate the Netherlands, and uh, this particular military operation was the last German victory of World War II as it was the last uh, Allied defeat. Ryan's approach to doing the books is, was, uh, particularly with the longest day you know, in, the early 19, or in the mid 1950s, real innovative. Often when people were writing books about history, what they would do is look at other books on the same topic or related to that topic and then if it had to do like in this case with battles then uh, it would be a military historian usually and they would go look at documents like uh, after action reports and and other kinds of uh, military or government generated documents to uh, get the information that they wanted. Ryan went the next step uh, which nobody else had really kind of done especially in the depth and detail that Ryan did, and that was he advertised in uh, newspapers and magazines and uh, newsletters, things like that. If you were there for this battle, please get in touch with me. I'm writing a book and I'm interested in getting your experiences at that time. And he did this too, not just with Americans, but you know, in the case of The Longest Day, he uh, advertised for people who were in Canada, Great Britain, France, and Germany.